I was recently sent a photograph of a very unusual ichthyosaur skeleton held in a museum in Germany. Now when I saw the photo, I thought, wow, this is it's pretty interesting. It has some very unusual features. But I've come to see the specimen today, and it's not exactly what it appeared to be. Let's take a look. This is the specimen. If we take a look at the skull, it looks really good. But all of these teeth are not real. Apart from just these teeth here, these teeth are real. There's just a couple. And the entire skull is an actual fact made of plaster. As is the forefin, the entire forefin is made of plaster. So is this bone, the coracoid. But these bones here, these are all real. <laughs> but the strange thing with this, they are tail vertebrae in the place of backbones of dorsal vertebrae. Not good. Coming back down here, we do have regal tail vertebrae. So this isn't too bad down here, this is genuine. These are the hind fins. These bones, they're 100% they're real. And so these bones as well, they're the, the pelvic elements. So, this really is a key thing for anybody just starting out on their research or for students. You have to be very, very, very careful when you're looking at fossils. You've got to scrutinize things so, so carefully because from looking at the initial photograph, I thought this could be something new to science. I've come here today where I'm disappointed, I must admit, but I'm also happy because I've managed to identify that this thing isn't 100% real and potentially because there are some real elements, they may turn out to be quite unusual and important for my scientific research.